Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. You might look at me and say that I'm missing something, cause I am. The most important thing on your face that I did not do, and it is my brows. Today I just wanted to do an updated brow routine because I haven't done one in one so very long, and that video is honestly embarrassing. I, I don't even wanna refer people to it. And two, because I have been on a brow journey for months and months and months, and I finally think I figured out my brow, the one that I think is here to stay for a while at least. So I just wanted to show you how I finally figured out my brow routine. I'm gonna show you some of my favorite products that I use and all the tips and tricks to get the perfect brow. So if you wanna see how I get my brows, then let's go ahead and get started. So before I did my whole foundation routine and my eyes, my lips, everything like that, I needed to touch up my brows a little bit. So I use my little, I don't even know what you call this. It's just a facial brow hair removal thing and it just kind of takes off the hair where you put it and I love this thing I don't even remember the last time I tweezed my eyebrows waxed my eyebrows I've never threaded them and I don't have to do any of that all because of this little tool right here it is amazing I love it I think I got it at Ulta Walmart or somewhere for like maybe 15 20 bucks and I also have a face one that I do my whole face with as well these are amazing and I highly recommend them and then next during my face routine once I've put all my foundation and concealer on it when I'm setting my face, I also have been loving setting my brows. One, if there's any oil in my brows, it helps like just take all the oil out. And then two, I just feel like it makes using my brow pencils so much easier to just like glide on and just, you know, create my perfect brow. So that is one step I've also been loving as well. And next I'm going to just take a spoolie again and kind of just brush all my brow hairs up. As you can see, I don't have the fullest brows and it's kind of sad because I remember I used to make fun of my brother all the freaking time because he has such thick brows and he has to get them like threaded and stuff. I'm so jealous of that. I wish I had that problem. I wish I just like natural, full, luscious brows. I just only had to like, you know, pluck or tweeze and just be out the door. Like I don't like filling my brows in, but I'm not about to leave the house with my brows looking like this. I hate doing my brows, but once they're done, they're like my favorite part of my makeup. If I had my brother's brows, life would just be so much easier but I don't so we gotta you know do some filling and digging and plotting just to get our brows to look good so like I said take a spoolie I brush all my brow hairs up this just makes it easier for me to see where I go in to outline my pencil and what I use to outline my brows I have a few different ones that I'm going to show you guys this one is the elf ultra precise brow pencil I just started using this one and I like it it was five dollars which it I mean elf is cheap it just doesn't feel like five dollars especially with the next elf product that i'm gonna show you one right here was two dollars i just feel like this is so this is my my empty one this guy right here was two dollars like i just feel like they should be like switch like this be five dollars and this one be two dollars but whatever this is the elf instant lift brow pencil and it comes with a spoolie which this one does too and then i just started using this one the milk makeup gel brow i like this one except it's not a retractable one you actually have to use a sharpener and do this and i don't like that part about it and this is very like thick and jelly and these other ones are very just light and then one other one that i really like is the i like a lot okay i've been through a lot of brow pencils but I also do like benefit I don't have that anymore I just ran out but I do like the benefit brow pencil and then this is the Kat Von D signature brow this one is a little different of a shape it's like kind of more rectangular I guess where the other ones are more like round I'm probably not gonna use this one because this one is black and I don't really do like a full-on black brow anymore since I colored my hair but I do love it so I thought I'd throw it in there so yeah obviously your Kat Von D is gonna be more expensive and your milk makeup one is gonna be more expensive and the two elf ones are going to be your drugstore cheap options so i'm going to start with the elf ultra precise brow pencil i do not like the natural shape of my eyebrows so i kind of like create my own which is why i've been on this like eyebrow journey for months if you like look back at all my videos oh some of them i don't even like to show because like oh my eyebrows were so bad but i was just you know taking time to find myself find my brow 
and I found her, okay? I kind of have two mirrors here. I have this one that's kind of up close, and then I have one that's further away because I like to get a view from different angles because the way you do your brow, if you're like looking down and you look, look up, it's gonna be totally different. So I like to like get different views of it, if that makes sense. I like to start where this like kind of gap is right here where there's no hair right there. And then I kind of go into creating my tail and I go at like a down angle. Like I'm not like going the shape of my brow. I'm going kind of like diagonal because I like the inner part of my brow to be way lower just to create the very like sharp arch. So I just start right there and just create kind of like hair light strokes for now. And then I kind of start to curve that out with that arch there. And I just kind of bring this out. And then I go back to the front of my brow and I start drawing the diagonal line that goes like kind of down to create the illusion that my brows start very low. Now some people, like if you have like little eye space right here, I wouldn't do that because it's just gonna make it look even littler. But I have like pretty big lid space and I have really hooded eyes. So as you can see, like my line is well beyond where my natural brow line is, but that's the way I like it and you're not gonna really be able to tell once I like start filling it in. It looks a little crazy, I know, but it all comes together, okay? And now I'm just gonna kind of brush some of these hairs down so I can see where my real brow line arch starts. And then I'm just going to basically follow the natural shape of my upper brow. And then kind of just draw the line to connect it back to the tail. My eyes always freaking water during this and I hate it. So that's what we got going on right now. And as you can see, like I didn't really draw the line at the top because I don't want that too thick right there. We're gonna use something else to do that. Now I am gonna go in with that other e.l.f. brow pencil and we're just gonna go in and like draw hair like strokes and just the places that look really thin. I like a full looking brow. I don't like there to be like sparse places. I just, I don't know, it doesn't look good on me, I don't feel like. And then I will take this spoolie and just kind of run that through there just to kind of make sure everything is getting blended together not looking too harsh or fake I guess my eyebrows when I like first started my channel they look fake as but we're learning we're growing I'm growing and my brows are on a new journey and then next I'm taking the essence eyebrow pen this is what semi-permanent what the this is like really cool it's like got this pen that kind of like mimics like what eyebrow hairs look like and that's what I use at the front and I just kind of flick up to like make it look like my eyebrow hairs so I just like start just randomly and I take this all the way down to that line just to like blend it together and I just start like licking some fake hairs in there, you know? And this is going to be a little more sparse than the rest of my brow just because like I used to like just go full on thick whole eyebrow but I've learned that that does not look the best. I didn't hate the way it looked but I like this. I like how like natural it looks so that's what we do. And that is pretty much it for this brow. If you get like too high, you can always take your spoolie and kind of just lightly go over where you want to, you know, erase any spots. But that is pretty much my new brow. And you can't even tell that like half of this space right here is like just fake. Like it's not even a brow, but I love it. And yeah, I'll probably do this eye set up for you and not talk so you can really pay attention and learn my brow.
One thing I did forget to mention is brow gel. I use a few different ones. These are like tinted brow gels too. The first one I use is the Tarte Busy Gout Brows. This is just a little teeny tiny wand and it's so freaking cute. And this is just going to like give your brows some tint, but it's also going to like make them kind of stay in place all day. And then another one is the Benefit Give Me Brow. This one is just the travel size. It's a little bigger of a wand, but still the same thing. Then probably Probably my favorite is the Milk Makeup Kush Fiber Gel. Look how freaking dirty it is, that's gross. And this is just the same thing, but it's like black and I just love the way it makes my brows like stay in place. But since I didn't use black, I'm just gonna go in with the Tarte Busy Gal Brow, which I don't even know if I still have anything left on this thing. And I just like to go in and just kind of like set my brow hairs. Make sure we didn't do all that work just for them to get up and leave us you know I'm gonna make sure they're set they're not going nowhere this one is more of a arch at the end just because I don't know why but those are my finished brows again they're not perfect eyebrows are sisters they are not twins sometimes they're stepsisters sometimes they're long-distance cousin sometimes they're not even in the same family or related but I am so happy with my new brow routine and my journey I am loving this I just need to remember to stay on this one and not ever try and change it up for a while at least. If you guys like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and leave a comment down below what you wanna see next. I really liked just doing this one step makeup. So if you wanna see more steps like that that I just do like one in-depth detail about them, let me know in the comments. If you haven't already, make sure to hit the subscribe button so you never miss a future upload from me. And I guess until next time, I'll see you in my next video. Bye! Go out and make the world smile with your bomb ass brows, okay? Okay. This one is, what the heck are you? What are you? <sighs> My nose is running. <sighs> Ew, I got a booker. Like little by little, it'll by it'll. <laughs> don't even like to, I don't even want to refer to Pete. And all the tricks and tips to get that. To get that. And all the ticks. Nobody has ticks, you know. Oh, <laughs> I love that. I love that.